then we realized we don't really have to do it. <laughs> the yeah. Holy Spirit does it, right? Like yeah. I said, we're only, we're only there carrying, carrying the, the stretcher. Yeah, but we're, we're not. strap hangers, yeah. basically. Yeah. <laughs> and then we just let the word take over. Well, we're Pete and Mary Holmberg. I'm Pete, this is Mary. <laughs> We've been married for not quite 50 years, but a long time. Uh, We've been involved with the prison ministry since uh, 2012, and we've been parishioners here since we moved to the Olympia area in 1990. Well, we took that class, Just Faith. Just Faith, right. right. And um, it kind of opened up our eyes to all the needs of the communities, right? poverty, um, uh, you know, just so many things. And so, you know, then the prison came up and we, um, remember how it just all fell into place? We talked to Deacon Rob. Uh, yeah, Mary Deacon. talked to Deacon Rob and I followed. <laughs> yeah. And it just, it was crazy that everything just fell into line. And, I, you know, I was sort of scared, you know, thinking, I don't, you know, what could I offer? Mm -hmm. And we went, and it was just wonderful right from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Well, we did two ministries. One is what we call Bible study, which is done during the week, uh, evenings. And what that consists of is we break open the readings for the coming weekend, for the coming Sunday, and we discuss them. Uh, we try to break them open, see how the first reading correlates to the gospel and so forth. Uh, and then the, the second ministry we did is the communion service, which is essentially the mass minus the liturgy of the Eucharist, of the consecration of the bread. But it ends with communion. To me, it reminds me of, you know, that uh, gospel in Mark where they talk about the four guys that carry the paralytic yeah. and they can't, they can't get to Jesus, so they climb up on the roof yes. and then they set him down. Yeah. Well, that's how I feel, like, because we go there, you know, we, we get them to be freed from their, you know, their rooms. And then we get to see the miracle, just like the, the people watched Jesus cure the guy. Well, we get to see the miracle of what the Word does to, you know, to make them want to change and, and feel the worth that they have as a person because they're loved by God, and then they want to change their lives. And we see it over and over and over again. 